Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan and I will show you the location of the OBD2 or diagnostic uh, port. This video should apply to Dodge Grand Caravans made from 2008 all the way up to 2019. If this video was helpful please consider supporting the channel by liking the video, subscribing to the channel or becoming a channel member. Okay, so the OBD2 port is located under the steering wheel, right here. Now I will explain how to use it. Now first you will need the OBD2 scanner, something similar to what I have. Now these scanners range from a few dollars to a few thousand dollars based on uh, what you can do with them. Like the, 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 the cheap ones, you can uh, mostly scan the check engine light, get the code or delete the code. But to get any other information about the code, you have to go online and search it up yourself. Better scanners, you can scan uh, check engine light, airbag light, ABS light, pretty much uh, any kind of, uh, pretty much you can access any module with those. And then you can run diagnostics. This, this one, what I have, it, it was around $200. It's not like top line, but I can access any module, get the codes and even run some of the diagnostics. Okay, now how this works, you don't want to start the vehicle, just want to insert the key into the ignition lock and turn it twice to the right. So all of the lights come on on the dashboard, but do not start the vehicle. And once that is done, you can connect your scanner to that port. And then based on the scanner you have, uh, scanner will turn on and you will read uh, the codes from the PCM, right? No, I will not record all of that because uh, my scanner is actually quite slow and the battery is almost dead. Okay, I can even show you. If you wanna watch. Sure, if not, you can end watching the video because that's that's how you how you do it. Now my what will my scanner do? It will automatically recognize the VIN number of the vehicle and then it will automatically start scanning all of the modules found. But like I, like I said, it likes to take its time. It's good enough for me, for my needs, but like a professional shop, we'll need a better scanner than this. Okay. I was, was going to ask me to confirm the make, model, engine, it's all good. So it's a 2014, actually not 16, 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan, 3.6 liter, that's right. And now it's scanning uh, all of the modules, right? And actually it found some codes stored in the system. Now PCM, that's for the check engine light, there is zero DTCs. Now the ABS, the brakes, did find something. Uh, system voltage circuit below threshold, vacuum pressure, sensor supply circuit, voltage out of range, two stored code. Now this is something I will have to look into because there is no actually even active uh, ABS light on the dashboard. So it, it might be something stored from the past, most likely. Uh, SRS, those are your seat belts. Okay, so this is the data I can get from my scanner. Like I said, better scanner, more options, more data. When you are uh, done, scanning the vehicle you want to turn the key to the off position remove it and then you want to disconnect the scanner and that's it thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful and educational if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my youtube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos do-it-yourself videos car reviews product reviews and other similar automotive topics